Home corrupt New York Attorney General Letitia James taking the first steps towards seizing President Trump's assets. State officials have entered the judgment from the civil fraud trial with the county clerk's office in Westchester, which would allow James to take possession of Trump National Golf Course and, and Briarcliff Manor and Seven Springs if Trump fails to secure a bond. He has three days to do that. Meantime, CNN admitting Mar-a-Lago is worth hundreds of millions. It's a lot more than Letitia James claimed. You need at least 30 days to get any of these properties sold. Um, but the property that you alluded to, Mar-a-Lago, uh, potentially, that could be something that could be sold quickly. I think the valuation is something in the hundreds of millions. And I think there could be a buyer for something like that. And that would be literally, if you're talking about doing that between now and Monday, that's picking up the phone, calling someone, and then literally writing a check. Joining me now, the host of the Trish Regan Show on Apple Podcasts, Trish Regan, and former Georgia congressman and host of the Doug Collins Podcast, Doug Collins. Welcome to you both. Uh, if they do this to President Trump, uh, won't New York be sending a signal, Congressman, to all those with capital, all of those who provide jobs, all of those who have businesses, that New York is just a bad place to set up shop? Yes, I mean, it, it, absolutely. Here's, here's what it says. If you get crossways with the attorney general in the state of New York, you're in big trouble. And it says to anything that she takes a whim to go after on her personal uh, line of what she believes to be right or wrong or who she doesn't like, then she's going to take out vengeance upon you. Banks should be scared. Uh, I mean, uh, venture capitalists should be scared. Builders should be scared. Developers should be scared. Because if their views aren't the views of Letitia James, she'll go after you. Yeah, I think it'd be nuts to do business in New York from this point going on. Uh, Trish, yesterday, Attorney General Merrick Garland announcing the U.S. government is suing Apple for violating antitrust laws, alleging a monopoly on smartphones, which is kind of insane because I know there are a lot of smartphones out there. Something stinks here, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I got one myself. Listen, I mean, it's political like anything else. I would say that it's kind of egregious that Apple wants 30% of everyone's app, right? So if you start the Chris Salcedo show app tomorrow, it, Apple's gonna want 30% of all your revenue. So that's kind of a lot. And then they're gonna make it kind of difficult for anybody to go elsewhere. Like the transition is mm. not easy. They try to make it very, very sticky. So the government's alleging it's a monopoly in that case. But don't forget the backdrop of the entire situation, which is that there's a lot of pressure on big tech right now from the Biden administration to kind of, you know, get with the program, so to speak, which means you want to censor certain things and you want to promote other things. Just my hunch, right? I mean, it's, it's one of the things we've been talking about at 76 Research because there's such a desire, Chris, right now to have their mm -hmm. point of view and their point of view only. So you might think of it as a little bit of a warning, maybe just a little time. I mean, there, there, there's a nugget of truth in there. I'm not going to deny that. Yep. Apple's a big well. deal. But it's also I, the I, Biden administration with some very sharp elbows saying, hey, get with the program. Well, sure. Sure. And you know what? Uh, I'd like to introduce the, the federal government to Google. Have you heard of Google? Trish Regan, Doug Collins, because of the breaking news, I got to cut our visit short. But thank you very much, guys. Appreciate the update.